I'll tell you now, Burnsley, bull's head. Oh, it was a nightmare. I, sh I shouldn't have gone over it. I was driving over the tops. I was going through Woodhead Pass. I don't even know the way to Burnsley. But I was going over the tops and I ran over a cat. It was a portent of things to come. You know what I mean? I ran over this cat. Awful. And there was only one house. Over the top. It was a bit wild. I thought I went to the door. I thought I'm going to do the right thing. And I knocked on the door. A woman came to the door. I said, I think I've run over your cat. She said, well, what does it look like? I said, well, it's uh, looks a bit like this. Eh? She said, no, you daft bugger. She said, what did it look like before you ran over it? I said, oh, I'm really sorry. Before I ran over it, it looked a bit like this. You know, so I should have turned round there and then. Should have turned round there and then, but I didn't. I went on. Bull's head. What a place that was. What a, a rough. Oh, it was rough. And I was on, uh, oh, I was on about third, I think, after, after female vocalist. And I was really, I was shitting. It were, uh, it were hard work. And it were called Bull's Head. Get this. Because all around walls, all around walls, there were Bull's Heads. And I'm talking to the landlord. Turns out he's been a matador in Spain. The first ever British matador. El Burns Leo. Something like that. I can't recall what he were called. Anyway, and these were all his trophies. And I'm talking to him and he said, you see that big one over there? Over the mantelpiece there? That big one? I said, ah, it is a big one. He said, it killed me brother. I said, did it? Were he a matador as well? He said, he said no, 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 he was playing dominoes, it fell on his head. It was a rough place. And I, oh, I was, I was in back room, I got ready, and I'm in back room, ready to go on. And uh, this little bloke wandered over to the bloke at the side of me. He tugged him on his sleeve, he went to him, VD, this bloke, give him such a smack. I didn't blame him, he gave him such a smack. And this little bloke is bleeding out of his nose, one nostril. He walked down the line to another bloke, tugged him on the sleeve. He said, VD, he said, you little sod, the need him ain't growing like that. Give me right knee. He went doubled over. He went, well, he, went, he didn't give up. Went to a third bloke, on then, big bloke. He said, VD, bloke said, yeah, what of it? He said, you're on it, snooker. You see what he was doing? I didn't understand, but I'll tell you what, uh, there was a fight. There was this fight. I never got on stage. Let me tell you that. It was my first gig. I never actually got on stage. There was this fight. Bottles, chairs, glasses. There's this bloke lying on the floor in front of me, nose off completely. Completely off. And I thought, I've got to do something to help this, but unconscious. So I bends down, I get his nose, I stuck it on. I got a bit of blue tack off a, off a poster. I stuck his nose back on in a hurry, threw him over my shoulder. I'm out at door, I'm down to hospital. It's only half a mile down the road. It's pissing down. I'm wet through half a mile, I'm like that with him, over my shoulder, over my shoulder. Getting casualty, put him on bench there. I said, there you go. This doctor says, he said, he's dead. I said, how can he be dead? He said, well, some idiots stuck his nose on upside down. He's drowned. I don't wear you. I should have seen it coming. I should have turned back after the cat.